That was a scene back in 2019 at Walter Hill Elementary School in Tennessee, where there's a principal there on the right with the the cardigan on, and a special education teacher, a special education teacher, Bonnie Marlar. They decide to drag this 10 year old student down the hallway by his feet as his hands and back and head dragged across the floor because he was being unruly. In fact, he was being violent. They have issues with this, as you can see from the back angle of this video that ran through. They're just dragging him along the entire way to put him in isolation, by the way. That's where they were taking him. Next, they were both eventually fired, but there was three years after this event. So just last year, they were fired over this. And now the latest of this, there's our principal on the left, Miss Campbell there. She's lost another appeal to get her job back. Not sure why she wants that job back. I'd be embarrassed to walk back in there after all that went down. But this is some of the things that she's looking to oppose that again has been rejected again by this board. Uh, the board's May 2nd of 2022, that's when they originally fired her after this happened in 2019, by a 4 2 vote to fire her for unprofessional conduct stemming from that 2019 incident of dragging that special education fifth grade boy by his ankles 560 feet. They say that's more than length of a football field down this hallway with also Bonnie Marler, who is the special education teacher. The second thing that she was looking to fight back against was this independent impartial hearing officer from Memphis deciding in November that after two days of a hearing in September to uphold that these elected school officials is what they decided. So she already lost once, she lost again and now a third time again this week. Again, this video was out in 2022, May of last year. But you know, who cares about that? I want my job back. I would have assumed she'd go somewhere else. This is probably the best part about this. Her attorney and the defense that he had for her. Think again, she wants her job back. I said it four times. This is what her attorney said. School officials considered video evidence of Campbell dragging that child, but the board also heard compelling arguments from her attorney. His name is Scott Kimberly. He suggested that Campbell was not provided with proper guidance on what to do with a child known for violent outbursts. You're the, pres- you're the principal of a school in uh, your defense after you abuse this child is, I didn't know how to uh, treat, uh, how, to, uh, how to deal with a kid that had violent outbursts. Why are you a principal, number one? And number two, why do you want that job back? You don't know what you're doing, you just admitted it through your attorney. So many in the audience also, by the way, this is the other crazy part about this. Many audience uh, in the seats in the audience at that meeting of about 80 people applauded the points made in defense of Campbell, that principal. She sat in the middle with her husband to watch. And one of those board members, the name is Rosales, he uh, mentioned how records show that Campbell had faced felony charges with tampering with the video evidence by going into the school server room where the security footage is located. So not only did you do all this, Dan, along with your special education instructors there as well. Afterwards, I think in a pretty big admission of your guilt, you go and try to tamper with the evidence, which was tampered to a degree, but apparently not enough to eliminate exactly what they did. Again, she wants her job back. I'm kind of stuck on the fact at this point that it was a 4-2 vote. As though like there are yeah. two people on that committee who was like, okay, in defense of the teacher who just like dragged of the teacher who just dragged the special needs kid down the hallway. Again, like if you are I've worked with special needs kids before I've had the great privilege of doing so as like a teacher's assistant before. And the special needs teachers are supposed to be especially trained to know how to deal with students and, you know, however they may react in class. You know, it's not always like violent, but you know, there are outbursts at times. And again, this is kind of the nature of special needs. These teachers do wonderful work, incredible work. I'm so these are real um Warriors and fighters here. What they definitely shouldn't be doing is dragging kids like down the hallway. I mean, the only bit of solace in this is that like, if this were a more militarized, police-heavy school, like conservatives are trying to do all around the country in response to uh, gun violence and students coming in, that would have been much worse. It probably would have been much more of a tragic situation. But this person does not need to be anywhere near taking care of kids at all. And. I would think that she wants to get out of this game because this seems like maybe it's too traumatic yeah. of an event for you. You had, you felt you had to drag a child down the hallway, hundreds of feet, and then lock them in some room, but then also go and try and destroy the evidence. I, I'm I'm not sure the uh, the thought process of what you may think you're supposed to do here next. But again, uh, I think they said the kid was is autistic. Is the problem that he's got. Um, my my wife's a teacher. She was teaching in school. She's had some struggles with uh, with students that have outbursts and uh, disrupt classes and even maybe even get physical. Right? 
Um, I don't think she's ever uh, considered dragging this children down the hallways, shoving them into walls, which we've seen in other events in school hallways, cameras there. Uh, and by the way, do you guys notice? They both were having a pretty good time. They didn't seem too upset about the entire situation either. As they get closer to the end of this uh, this long walk, you may see a couple smirks and smiles on their faces. I guess they weren't uh, all that upset.